Hi, this is Tom with Compix, and today I will be showing you an overview of Compix's GenCG. To explain our layout a bit better, to my left we have our page list. You will be able to create anything from lower thirds, to weather reports, to house of worship pages, to sports templates, or even full screen graphics. It is also very easy to generate new pages by just clicking in the window and keep in mind you'll be able to create as many pages as you'd like. Now I'll be moving on toward the bottom of the page where we have our attributes control. The attributes tab will change between text and shapes depending on which icon you are currently selected on. Once I select some text you'll see how easy it is to adjust the text font, shape, size, and thickness. This is also where you'll be able to locate the edge and shadow adjustments for your text or shapes. Note that if you wanted to add your own font, you can do so by dropping any true type font into your Windows Fonts folder. I am now going to change my mouse cursor to the Shape button, which will change my Attributes tab. You'll see we offer various shapes which you can choose from. Our last shape will allow you to customize your look. You can right click on any blue or green frame point in order to add a new red frame point. Red frame points will create hard edges while green and blue frame points will allow you to create curves with your object. Here we have our color tab. This is where you'll be able to adjust the face color of your shape or text and you can also blend colors together by selecting the top or the bottom. To the right we have our transparency and angle tabs where you can click and drag in the box to adjust like so. Our angle tab will allow you to change the direction in which your colors blend. Not only will you be able to adjust all these for your face but you'll also be able to adjust these for your edge and your shadow. After explaining shapes, text, and color, I will now talk about our effects tab, which is also a part of our attributes control. This is where you'll be able to adjust your ins and outs for your page. We have over 250 effects to choose from, and you'll notice when you've selected on your page, it will show your ins and outs for that specific page in your effects tab. The default effect is a straight cut represented by an exclamation mark which is what you'll see when you create a new page. To the right of our attributes control we have our playback control. We have a preview window which is the small yellow button which you can open and use as a full screen for your second monitor or you can simply just put to the side. Push play once to put the page onto your preview and you can push play again to take it to air. Up here in my help bar, we have the shortcuts for your numeric keypad. The great thing about your numeric keypad is that you'll use it to easily play out your pages without having to use your mouse. Moving on, to my right I have my style catalog. This is where you'll be able to store and save your colors, characters, shapes, images, backgrounds, animations, and pages. Your style catalog is set up for easy drag and drop capabilities. You can drag and drop for anything inside your catalog as you can see. We allow Targa, Bitmap, and JPEG animations in our GenCG. And if you were to import images, we allow Targa, Bitmap, JPEG, PNG, GIF, and TIFF files. If you look inside your Compix GenCG folder, you'll notice folders for your backgrounds, animations, and images. This is a useful tool so that you don't have to go searching through your folders to find your files. Then all you have to do is right click in your style catalog and click the refresh button 
to have any new files appear in your style catalog. I'm going to make some quick adjustments here so I can talk to you about layering. At the top I have my toolbar. This is where you'll adjust your layers, like so, and change your mouse cursor between text and shapes. You can also change your page mode on your toolbar. This is where you'll interchange between still, which allows you to have basic in and outs for your page, or roll, which allows you to roll a page like the credits at the end of a movie, or crawl, which allows you to roll to the left with any news updates, or type, which will type out any text located on your screen, or multi-layer, which allows you to apply separate effects to any items on your page. The majority of these tools on your toolbar will also be located in your drop-down menus here at the top. Before I move on, you'll also notice you can have as many projects as you want open at one time. You can work on these projects or adjust them even if you already have a project playing out on air. Feel free to email us at support at compix.tv or for more details visit our website compix.tv. You can also call our offices for sales inquiries at 949-585-0055. Thank you.